It's part of Water Saving Week and we're trying to really educate people about how much water um, people use. The average person in the UK uses 140 litres per person per day. Now in Cape Town this would cause a huge issue and they're trying to get everybody in Cape Town to reduce the amount of water that they use down to 50 litres per person per day, so around about a third of what the average person uses in the UK. This has serious consequences in Cape Town. If they don't do that, what's going to happen is they're going to run out of water probably by August. So they're really trying to change people's behaviours and make them think. So what, what I'm doing is part of our executive leadership team along with lots of other colleagues and their families around the business is really trying to promote um, the, the efficient use of water. So, well, from my point of view, one big thing that I've had to do is to think about baths and showers. Now, I love a hot shower like the, the best of people, but actually a shower uses a huge amount of water, a bath uses even more. There's no chance of a bath if you want to have 50 litres per person per day. And even a shower is going to use too much. So what I've been doing is looking at what we call a stop-start shower technique, where you actually sh shower for a while, get yourself, if you like, wet with water, and then turn the shower off while you actually clean and use the soap. So you're not just using the water all the way through. And then at the end, turn the tap back on, if you like, the shower back on to actually rinse. That's the sort of thing people in Cape Town are having to do if they're going to meet this challenge. And that's really struck home to me how much how much water the equipment that we have in our homes uses, whether it be a shower, using a huge amount of water, tens of litres per water even for a short shower. Every time you flush the loo, nine litres of water. Um, you know, a washing machine, you're in a huge amount, tens of litres of water again. So what we've all got to do is really think about how we, we use it. Now, now, people get a bit squeamish about talking about some of these things, but, but some of the, the children of, um, of our, my colleagues at work have been talking about the um, basic things, like only flushing the loo when you need to. So the kids come up with these wonderful phrases, like, if it's, if it's yellow, let it mellow. And, and sometimes as adults, we get a little bit squeamish about talking about things like that, but it's wonderful to see some of my colleagues and their children actually having this kind of promotion, if you like, and this kind of conversation. Um, so, so I think as adults, we shouldn't be squeamish. We should look at simple things like that, where we can actually use less water and really value this, this fantastic resource that people around the world don't have in as plentiful supply as we do. So we have a number of different types of water saving kit. We have things that you can, um, you can install with your taps that actually mean the, the taps don't quite um, pass forward so much flow. We have water saving kits that fit with showers and very simple kits that go inside of your toilet system. That means you use less water when you actually um, flush the loo. And you can find a lot of information on this at our own website, so www nwl.co.uk you'll find a lot of further information on, on how you can be more efficient with your water.